the True Light Church of God in Christ, where our leaders are Pastor Vincent J. Alexander III and First Lady Christina Alexander. Do you need your spirit lifted? Do you need a change in your life? Well, our motto here at True Light Church of God in Christ is Step into the light for a life-changing experience. We promise that after attending our anointed service today, you won't leave the same way you came. Keep in mind to tag and share this live stream on your Facebook page. Thank you so much for choosing True Light to worship with virtually today. God bless you. Oh God, bless, oh Lord, the first lady, oh God, and the praise team, oh God. Oh God, anoint their voices, oh God, to sing, oh God, unto Zion, God, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Oh God, that bowed down heads will be lifted, God. Oh God, that heavy hearts will be lifted, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. That backsliders will be reclaimed, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Oh God, and as pastor come forth, oh God, with the word, God. Oh God, touch him right now, God, from the top of his head, Lord to the sole of his feet God oh God give him a word like never before God oh God give him a word for your people God in the name of Jesus use him Lord move him out of the way oh God and have your way God in the name of Jesus oh God oh God we need you Lord we need you Lord like never before God and God we ask that you bless those that are watching oh God by way of internet oh God oh God let them uh internet not mess up oh god that they would not miss your word god and god those that are on their way god give them traveling mercy oh god oh god to get here safe and sound oh god oh god we thank you right now god have your way this sunday oh god oh god a day in which we've never seen before we thanking you for it oh god and these and all blessings we ask you for in jesus name in jesus name thank god amen and amen Amen. Our scripture reading today will be coming from Romans 8, starting at the 35th verse, and it reads, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or uh, persecution or famine or nakedness or peril of sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep. For the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor death, nor any other creatures shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearers, and doers of his word. Amen. Hallelujah. How many came to bless the Lord on this morning? Hallelujah. We came to bless the name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands together.
for he has done great for things. He has done great things. Yes, he has for done. You've been too good, Lord. Too good, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Yes, you're worthy. Yes, you're worthy. You're so worthy. You're so worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. You're so worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. All the glory. All the glory. And the honor. And the honor. Hallelujah. 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 We came to bless his name. Anybody came to bless his name? He's so worthy. Hallelujah. And he is our strength. He is good. He is kind. I know he's my strength this morning. Is he your strength? Hallelujah. Jesus, 
personal strength like no other not like my husband straight like no other reaches oh you are, you are my strength. when I can't find the strength myself strength like strength no other like no 
it like, like no other. Reaches, Reaches me. You are my strength, strength like no other. Strength like no other. Has he been your strength? Has he been your strength? Hallelujah. 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 And he's been good. He's been better than good. Can anybody say he's been better than good? He's been better than good to me. Hallelujah. He's been so good been so good he's been so good thank you Jesus you are good you've been so good lord you are good you've been better than good i can't praise you enough i owe you my life can't thank you enough even if i try cause you've been So good, you've been so good to me. Help me sing it, Lord. You are good. You've been so good. You've been so good, Lord. You are good. You've been better. So many doors you've opened, so many ways you made, so many times you've healed me, you've been better than good to me. So many doors you've opened, so many ways you made, so many times you've healed me, you've been better than so many doors. So many ways, so many times. Has he healed anybody? He's been better than good to me. So many doors, so many ways, so many times. You've been better than good to me. So many doors, so many ways, so many. Been better than good to me. So many doors. So many doors. So many ways. So many times. So many times you heal me. Been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Has he been good? Better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. When I couldn't see my way, you made the way 
for me. You've been good. Oh, you've been good. You healed my body. You turned it around. You brought me out. You brought me out. Better than good to me. Better than good to me. Better than good to me. You've been good. Oh, you've been good. Better than good to me. You healed my body. Better than good to me. You healed my body. Better than good to me. You healed my body. Better than good to me. Healed my body. Better than good to me. Brought me out. Better than good to me. You brought me out. Better than good to me. You've been good. Better than good to me. You. You healed my body. Better than good to me. You saved my soul. Better than good to me. Filled me with. Better than good to me. The Holy Ghost. Better than good to me. You've been good. Better than good to me. You've been good. Better than good to me. You've been good. Better than good to me. You've been. So good, you've been so good. Has he been good to you? He's been better than good. You've been so good. So good. Thank you, Jesus. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Thank you, Jesus. Has he been better than good to you? been better than good to me. I could have lost my mind. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. I could have lost my way. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. I could have been in a grave. You've been better than good to me. But you've been good. You've been better than good to me. You've been good. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. I could have lost my mind. You've been better than good to me. I could have lost my You've soul. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You gave another chance. You've been better than good to me. So I could could be free. You've been better than good to me. 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 You saved my soul. You've been better than good to me. You saved my soul. You've been better than good to me. You saved my soul. You've been better than good to me. You've been so good. You've been so good. So good to me. Has he been good to you? Has he been better than good to you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's been good. Come on, give him praise if he's been good. Come on, worship him if he's been good. Has he been good to anybody on this morning? Has he been good to anybody on this morning? Did he make a way out of no way for anybody on this morning? Did he turn your situation around for anybody on this morning? Oh, you've been good. You've been good. You've been good. Oh, you've been good. Yes, you've been good. 
You've been good. Yeah, Baba Sunday. You've been good. You've been good. Oh, you've been good. You've been good. And because he's been good, you can say, My soul loves Jesus. My soul. Is there anybody's testimony on this morning? Love Jesus. My soul. Love Jesus. Bless his name. My soul. Love Anybody love him on this morning? My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. Then another mother would say, my soul seeks to please him. Anybody want to please the Lord? My soul seeks to please him. My soul seeks to please him. Bless his name. My soul Sunday seeks to please him. My soul seeks to please him. My soul seeks to please him. His name, yes, 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 yes. Is there anybody's testimony this morning? Can you help me give him a yes? Say yes, Lord. Come on, true light. Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 my soul says yes. Now clap your hands real quick and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give him a complete yes on this morning. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will, God. Yes to your way, God. Yes, I'll obey, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we give you a yes on this morning. We give you a yes on this morning. We say yes to you this morning. Yes, Lord. 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 Have your way, God. 
We move programs out of the way. We move the agenda out of the way. We want you to have your way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. yes. How about my Sunday? Yes, 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 yes. God, we don't have nothing to say but yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Feel your presence in this room. Yes, God. Feel your presence in this atmosphere. Yes, God. We say, yeah, no, no, Sunday, no, no, say. We say, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Anybody have a yes in their spirit on this morning? Anybody have a yes in their spirit on this morning? God, whatever you want to do, you can do. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, see your will, God. Woo. Have your way, God. I don't know, Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. I just feel a yes in my spirit on this morning. It's something about when you give him a complete yes. It's something about when you give him a complete yes. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I better move on before I get stirred up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You remember the day you gave him your first yes? Woo. You remember the day you gave him your first yes? It seems like all of the dead weight you was carrying was released by saying yes. Seemed like all the mess that you was going through, all the hell and high water you was going through, just giving him a yes turned it all the way around. Listen, it's something about saying yes to the Lord. I guess I'm the only one. Yes, Lord. Come on, stand in your feet and help me celebrate this awesome man of God, our superintendent, Superintendent Jerome L. Walker Sr. Come on, let's celebrate God for him. Amen. And to his lovely wife, our district first lady, Lady Rosetta Walker. Come on, clap your hands for her on this morning. To our district missionary in her absence. To our church mother, Mother Jewel Walker. Come on, let's celebrate her. Amen. To Elder Sykes on this morning. Amen. To Mother Butler and Mother Sykes. Amen. Amen to Minister Ketterer and Minister Moye in their absence on this morning. Amen to all of our deacons, musicians, saints, and friends. God, lolly, dotty, everybody. And last but not least to my own wife, First Lady Christina Alexander. Come on, let's celebrate her on this morning. Amen. The apple of my eye. Amen. And she ushered us truly in the presence of God through our praise and worship. Amen. We thank God for our praise and worship team. Amen. God is truly moving here at the True Light Church of God in Christ. And I don't know about you, but I feel the presence of God on this morning. The Bible declares that when two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. And I feel him on this morning. Amen. I know some are out on this morning, but that's all right. Amen. I came to have church. Amen. And I'll tell you one thing that this virtual period has taught me. Amen. Is I can have church if it's just me and the praise team. 
Amen, amen. It was many Sundays we was in here giving God praise and the cheers was blue. Amen. Nobody was in them, amen, but we had church like, amen, like God was here and everybody was here. Amen. And I'm here to tell you, I came to give God praise on this morning. Amen. And I'm here to say, if you want to join in, you can have church with me. Amen. Otherwise, you can just sit and watch me, but I'm going to give God what's due him. Amen. Because I owe God a praise on this morning. I owe God a praise. Amen. He is truly due our praise. Amen. The uh, last week, amen, the, the contractors was working, amen, uh, last week, and he had came back in, and he told me, man, he said, I was sitting in my car uh, on my break, and he said, literally, riding down the street, there was a drive-by shooting, amen, right when he was sitting in the parking lot, he came in, he was just trembling, he was all shook up, and he said, and I believe because I was in the house of God working, I believe God protected me. He, he said, literally, you can see the gun hanging out the window. He said, and bullets don't have a name on it. He said, but I was covered. Amen. I was covered. Amen. I went looking outside. Amen. I ain't see no damage to the church. Amen. I, amen. And I just thank God, amen, that he is a protector. Amen. He truly is a protector. So we truly thank God for his protection on this morning. Those that are watching us virtual, amen, we want to remind you to like this live stream, share it, tag somebody in it. Amen. We're here to have church. Amen. And we believe God is going to do something great on this morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have a couple announcements. Uh, remember, next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. Next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. Amen. That is the uh, birth of the Christian church. Amen. That is when they came. Amen. God on one accord and the Holy Ghost came. Amen. And I'm announcing it because I want to serve notice that next Sunday the Holy Ghost is going to fill the sanctuary. Amen. You can come with your level of expectation. Amen. We're going to have church on next Sunday. Amen. So invite somebody out to join us. Amen. Pentecost Sunday. Also, at the end of the month, we're excited about our friends and family day. Come on. Let's make some noise. Amen. For our friends and family day. Sunday. May 30th at 11 o'clock. That is our uh, t-shirt Sunday, and we're excited. We have Minister Jason Ponder coming from Atlanta, Georgia. Amen. Him and his wife are coming, and we are expecting to have a high time in the Lord. Invite somebody out. There will be dinner served afterwards. It is going to be to go. Uh, we do understand we can't join in our fellowship hall together, but we're excited about that. Invite somebody out. We're excited about that day, and we know we're going to have an awesome time in the Lord. Amen. And also, we're excited about the many renovations that are taking place. Our balcony is complete. Uh, they repatched some things and painted the entire balcony. Uh, both the walls and the trim is fully painted. Uh, our sanctuary is next. Yeah. Next week, our set, well, next week or the week after, rather, uh, the sanctuary will be completely painted. Uh, we're excited about what we're doing here at the True Light. Amen. Amen. Uh, the, the young fellas were out there last evening, rather, uh, getting the yard together. We're excited. The weather's changing, so we're taking care of our yard. We're just excited about the things that we're doing here at True Light, and I appreciate each and every one of you that are serving and helping uh, to help us get this vision uh, to be manifested. Amen? Amen. Amen. So those are our announcements. Join us this week. Prayer line Monday evening. Bible study and prayer on Thursday. Sunday school. Sunday mornings. Amen. Join us for our opportunities of worship. We have a card from our church mother. It says, with special thanks, this extra special thank you note sent to you today holds more appreciation than any words can say. For you're, you're among the nicest people I have ever known. And you'll never be forgotten for the thoughtfulness you've shown. Thanks for everything. With love, Mother Jewel Walker. Amen. And we truly love our church mother. And thank you again to everyone that helped us be a blessing to her on last week. Amen. Amen. It's offering time. Come on, get excited. It is offering time. Amen. I found out a long time ago, you can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. Amen. And we thank God for the opportunity to give. For we know, 
amen, that if we give, it will be given back to us. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Amen. That's what the Bible tells us. So we are excited. Prepare your hearts and minds to give on this morning. Prepare your tithes and your offering. Your tithe is a 10% of your earnings and your offering is your sacrificial offering the offering that god has laid on your heart to give and i'm asking everyone amen to give a ten dollar offering on this morning if you want to give more definitely give more i'm giving 20 amen let's be a blessing on this morning amen and one thing that really blessed my soul last week i was looking at the financial report and it's amazing to me to see young people amen learning the principle of giving at a year early age Amen. We have several uh, teenagers that are working. Amen. And they are giving their tithes and their offerings. Amen. So we're excited about that. Amen. We even see some of the young babies using Cash App, giving their offering every Sunday. So we are uh, truly blessed by that because, amen, I, be I believe if you train them young, amen, when they get old, they will not depart. They know, amen, the blessing in giving. Amen. And Sister Kiana, she was telling us a testimony this week. Amen. She was telling us a testimony this week. She found a check. Amen. In the mail. Amen. God is truly blessing. Amen. We don't say that affirmation for nothing every morning, every Sunday. Amen. I'll go to the uh, mailbox looking for my check. Amen. I'll log into the banking account looking for anonymous deposits. Amen. Because that's the type of God that we serve. So prepare your hearts for giving on this morning. Prepare your hearts for giving amen we're gonna ask that once you prepare that and get it in your hand we're gonna ask that you stand on your feet amen and let's prepare to give amen those that are watching virtual or in the sanctuary you can give electronically cash app dollar sign tlc ogic 362 or you can use givelify by searching true light church of god in christ or you can mail it into the church 362 columbia avenue Rochester, New York, 14611. Father, bless each giver on this morning. Touch their hearts as they give, God, and those that have a desire to give. God, we ask you to bless them that at the next appointed time, they will be able to give. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Repeating after me, not as a debt I owe, but as a seed that I sow. As I give my tithes and offerings, I am believing God for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, debts canceled, expenses decreased, blessings increased, favor with man, thank you Lord, for meeting all of my financial needs that I might have more than enough to give into the kingdom of God. Now as you give, shout hallelujah. You may give at this time. Thank your heart. Thank you for giving on this morning. Amen. I'm going to. Amen. We thank God for giving. Now, we do have, uh, as you know, our fifth Sunday is T-shirt Sunday. First Lady does have several shirts that have 
been made, she will pass them out at the end of service. Um, and those that are not made, next Sunday you will receive those. Make sure you uh, see her at the end of service about your t-shirt. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to put uh, Lady Walker on the spot. Y'all clean a mic for her. Amen. I'm going to ask her to come and give us a sermonic solo. It's been a while since we heard her. Amen. So y'all clean a mic for Mother, please. Amen. Deke, if you can clean First Lady Mike. Amen. We're going to hear from her, and then we're going to come with the word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hands again. Clap your hands again for mother. If I could help somebody as I travel along the way, if I could help some lost soul who cannot find their way. If I could help somebody as they go from day to day, then my living will not be in vain. living will not be in vain. Come on, let's stand on our feet. Let's go to the throne of grace. We thank God for mother and that beautiful selection. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank and we praise you for this service, God. We thank you for what you have done, God. We thank you for moving by your power and by your spirit. And God, we thank you for the praise and worship, the ministry of giving, all that has been done. But God, it's preaching time. 
God, we ask you to give me preaching power. Speak through these lips of clay. I decrease that you may increase. Have your way like never before. Move throughout this service. Throw your weight around, God. Drop a bomb of your glory in this place, God, that your word may go forth and it may be preached with conviction, God, changing, uh, power to change, God, edifying in the name of Jesus. And we'll be careful to give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. While you're standing, if you can go with me to uh, the book of Exodus. While you're standing, grab your word. We're going to the book of Exodus. Amen. Our words won't be on the screen this morning, so please grab your Bible. Make sure you grab your phones if you need to grab your phone, so that way you can go to the Bible app. Amen. And let's read along the word of God. We're going to the 12th chapter of the book of Exodus. Amen. The 12th chapter of the book of Exodus. And we're going to start at the 22nd verse. And it says, And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two side posts of the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of the house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your house to smite you. It says, uh, verse 23, and the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he seeth the blood, somebody shout the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your house to smite you amen as you get ready to take your seat help me announce my text look at your neighbor and say neighbor there's power in the blood come on look at another neighbor and say neighbor there's power in the blood you may be seated on this morning the power of the blood the power of the blood there is power in the blood blood uh, is a constantly circulating fluid uh, that circulates through the body that provides the body with nutrients provides the body with oxygen it helps to remove waste. Blood uh, is mostly liquid with numerous cells and proteins, amen, that uh, helps to make the blood thicker than pure water. Every person, amen, has an average of uh, five liters of blood, amen, more than a gallon. Uh, uh, they have what we call blood, amen, a liquid uh, called plasma that makes up about half of the content of the blood, amen. Our, our blood that runs through our body amen many uh, identify uh, blood as being red amen but while it's in our body amen the blood is actually blue amen uh, all of us have blood in us amen a uh, 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 blood amen contains of many things amen the blood contains of red blood cells which help to carry oxygen throughout your body amen all of us have white blood cells white blood cells are there to help us fight infection amen all of us have platelets in our body amen platelets uh, help to uh, keep our blood to clot Amen. Uh, uh, all of us have blood. Amen. Somebody shout the blood. Yeah, all of us have blood in, them, in us, but, but the key about the blood, amen, uh, the blood helps to signify that we're living, amen. Uh, when blood is circulating through our body, when blood is moving throughout our body, amen, it signifies that we are living, amen. Uh, however, when it is shed, when the blood is no longer being pumped, throughout our body see our heart helps us to pump the blood throughout the body when blood is no longer being pumped throughout our body when blood is shed amen it signifies death somebody shout the blood 
Uh, the blood is very unique, amen, because when it's shed, it signifies death, but when it's moving, it signifies life, amen. Uh, uh, but there's some blood, amen, that was shed 2,000 years ago that thought, amen, that it was signifying death. But one thing about this blood, it signified life. Uh, yes, while, while, while going to nursing school, while going to nursing school, we uh, learned that blood is not only amen not only uh, significant for us to live but blood is also a communication tool amen doctors and nurses amen use blood to uh, communicate what is going on in the body and while I was in nursing school they taught us amen how to bl uh, read blood reports amen uh, blood can communicate when there is an infection in your body blood can tell if a person person is suffering from a lack of iron. Blood can tell if a person is suffering from a lack of oxygen. Blood can tell a person, amen, that a woman is pregnant. Uh, yes, also they use these type of blood reports to identify what type of blood you have, whether it's type A blood, type B blood, or type Oh blood but uh, while in nursing school mother they forgot to tell me about one other type of blood and that was the type of blood that is uh, uh, identified in Ephesians 1 is 7 it says for by the blood by the blood of Christ we are set free somebody shout the blood and while 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 we're looking over all of these natural things that the blood can do amen the blood can tell you if you're lacking something in your body. The blood can tell if a person is dead or alive. The blood, amen, is very important in the natural realm. But what I want to talk about on this morning is the blood in the spiritual realm. Because see, amen, we, we need the blood to function naturally. But how many know we also need the blood to function spiritually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood is very important, amen. Even now, amen, in the midst of going through COVID in the midst of going through different sicknesses uh, they do something called a blood transfusion it's when they put good blood in your system to help you fight infection but I want to talk on this morning not just about the natural blood but I want to talk about the blood of Jesus and how many know you need the blood of Jesus to survive how many know you need the blood of Jesus in this hour oh, somebody shout the blood Ah, yeah, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Although we need our natural blood to function natural, uh, uh, we need the blood of Jesus uh, to function in the spiritual realm. I just want to stop on this morning and tell you a few things that the blood will do. How many know the blood has power? Yeah, yeah, the blood has power. The first thing I want to tell you on this morning is uh, uh, the blood will redeem you yeah 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 the, the, the blood the blood will redeem you Ephesians 1 and 7 says in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses yeah God, the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary that blood will redeem you yeah when you are sinning in your mess oh yes when your head is not thinking straight oh yeah when you dibbling in death in what you're dibbling and dabbling. I, I thank God for the redemption uh, that comes through the blood of Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah, to redeem. To redeem means to buy back. Uh, yes, redeem means to buy back or secure the freedom of someone in bondage. I don't know about you, but at one point in life, I was in bondage. Yeah, I was in bondage to my sin. I was in bondage in my mind. I was in bondage. I was in spiritual captivity. But one thing about the blood, somebody shout the blood. Ah, yes, the blood. Ah, yes, it will break you from any 
spiritual captivity. Uh, yet the blood, the blood, it will cause generational curses to be destroyed. Uh, the blood, the blood, the blood, uh, the blood will free you and cause you, amen, uh, to have spiritual liberty. Uh, uh, yes, as we look in the Old Testament, uh, it was the blood, amen, that was sacrificed of animals. Uh, yeah, it was the blood. They would take animals and sacrifice them. Uh, uh, yes, because that was their atonement uh, and their amends for doing wrong. Uh, Leviticus 17 and 11 tells us, uh, for the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given to you upon the altar uh, to make atonement for your souls for it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Yeah, they, they, they shed animals. They, they, they would take a lamb that was spotless and they would shed the blood of the animal and that was their way of being redeemed back to God. But how many know Jesus the perfect lamb? Yeah, yeah, 2,000 years or so ago, he shed his blood to redeem me back to God. And I'm so glad on this morning that I don't have to go to the holy, have a priest go to the holies of holies for me. Yeah, I don't have to shed the blood of a lamb. I don't have to do all of that, but I can go boldly to the throne of grace for myself. I, I don't gotta go, go, I don't have to go to a priest and tell the priest, oh, I messed up, I did this, I did that, amen, I, I fall short of the glory, but I can go to God for myself and say, Jesus, I need your blood to wash me. Yeah, I, I messed up just last night, but Jesus, I need you to wash me on this morning. Yeah, I didn't think good last night, but I need your blood to redeem me. Yeah, yeah, I, I almost cussed out so and so, but 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 your blood can redeem me. God, I need your blood to wash me. And there's about five of us in the sanctuary on this morning that I wish you would stand on your feet and say, I need the blood to wash me. I need the blood bath on this morning. God, I need you to wash me clean. God, I need you to wash me whole. God, I need you to purify my mind. The blood, the blood, the blood will redeem. Uh, Matthew 26 and 28 says, for this is my blood, the new covenant. See, the old covenant was uh, they would shed the blood of an animal. But what Jesus was telling the disciples here at the Last Supper, for this is my blood. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. For this is my blood. I'm sorry I get excited talking about the blood. Because I think about what the blood did for me. I think about how I could be messed up. How I still could be seeking in sin. But the blood. Sunday. The blood, the blood. Matthew 26 says, for this is my blood the new covenant which is shed for many of the remission for the remissions of sin I don't know about you but I thank God for the blood that was shed for me somebody shout the blood not only will the blood uh, redeem you not only will the blood redeem you uh, uh, how many know the blood will heal you blood the blood will heal you uh, not only will the blood heal physical ailments see when we talk about healing nowadays everybody start thinking about the physical aspect yes people are are dealing with cancer yes people are dealing with high blood pressure yes people are dealing with sugar diabetes they, they, all this physical stuff yes people are dealing with it but how many know sometimes you need a healing in your mind you need a healing in your emotions. You need a healing in your spiritual aspect. Yeah, sometimes your mind, let's be real. Sometimes your mind can go, amen, to some places that you never thought it would go. Sometimes the way you think, whether it's thinking about others, thinking about yourself. Some people need a healing of their self-esteem. Some people need a healing of emotional issues. Yeah, you was raped. 
Yeah, you was abused. Yeah, you was talked about. Yeah, you was bullied. But God can heal. The blood of Jesus can heal. The blood of Jesus will take your emotional stuff and regulate your mind and regulate your emotions. Oh, yes, yeah, sometimes you need a healing of the emotional aspect. Sometimes you need a healing in the spiritual realm. Sometimes you feel broken in your spirit. Sometimes you feel down in your spirit. But God told me to tell you on this morning, all you got to do is cause the blood to cause a healing. All you need is the blood of Jesus to heal your mind. All you need is the blood of Jesus to heal your emotions. And not only, not only, not only will the blood heal you in the physical sense, not only will the blood heal you emotionally, not only will the blood heal you spiritually, but the blood will break generational curses. Yeah, 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 the blood. The blood will heal from generational curses. Curses. Yeah, I went through some stuff, oh man, not too long ago, where I began to look at my generational bloodline. I went through some things, amen, emotionally. I don't mind being transparent. I went through some things emotionally because of stuff that I was dealing with generationally. But God had to remind me that it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. Yeah, it's the anointing of God that can destroy the yoke. Yeah, I deal with generational issues. Yeah, I look back over my bloodline and I say, God, why was I born into this? Why was I born into that? But greater is he that's within me than he that is in the world. And instead of me having a pity party, instead of me sitting around saying, why is my daddy doing this? Why is my mama doing this? Why is my family doing this? Why is my family embarrassing me? Instead of worrying about all of that, I just got to look and say, thanks be unto God that causes me to triumph making me the head and not the tail above only and not beneath and instead of me worrying about my family i just put the blood on them i just put the blood on them i just plead the blood amen i'm not gonna worry about what they're doing because the blood can save the blood can redeem the blood can heal the blood the blood can redeem the blood can redeem the blood can redeem, the blood can redeem. but not only can the blood redeem? Uh, the blood can heal. But the last thing, and I'm getting ready to get out of here, I'm not gonna keep you long. Uh, the last thing that the blood can do, uh, the blood can redeem, uh, the blood can heal, uh, but the blood will cover you. The, the, the blood will cover you. The blood will cover you. Uh, uh, what we fail to realize about the blood is, uh, the blood is there. The blood is there. Uh, but what we fail to realize is we have to apply it. I remember the mothers of Zion would say, I plead the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they plead the blood of Jesus over everything. Amen. I was young sitting there looking like, why is my grandma pleading the blood over this small stuff? But they believed in pleading the blood of Jesus over everything because they understood and recognized that there was power in the blood of Jesus. They understood and recognized that they had to apply the blood. They understood and recognized that they the blood had to be activated and when you apply the blood of Jesus to every situation you'll see the blood begin to take care of things stuff that you're trying to figure out yourself the blood already fixed it things you're trying to work out yourself 
the blood has already fixed it in Exodus 12 God told the Israelites to kill a lamb and dip the branch of hyssop into the blood and take the blood and put it over the doorpost and the Bible said that when uh, the, the plague would come that the, when they see the blood they would pass over the door and everybody inside would be covered even in the midst of a plague that we're dealing with in 2020 and 21 this plague called coronavirus it was the blood that protected you it was the blood that covered you you could have been dead you could have been another statistic but thanks be unto God for the blood of Jesus for it was the blood that caused the death angel to pass over your house it was the blood that caused the death angel to pass over your children I'm getting ready to get out of here but I realize in this text that it was the blood that caused the death angel to pass over them now realize here that if the Israelites did not apply the blood what if the Israelites just shed the lamb what if the Israelites didn't apply the blood what if the Israelites just shed the blood but see there was a formula that they had to do they first had to shed the blood then they had to apply the blood first they had to shed the blood then they had to apply the blood let me say it again for those that didn't catch it yet they had to shed the blood then they had to apply the blood and I want to tell you on this morning that the blood has already been shed but you got to apply the blood the blood was already shed but you got to apply the blood and I came to tell somebody on this Sunday morning that the blood still has power the blood still has power but you ain't been applying the blood so I need about 15 folk to begin to apply the blood apply the blood over your family apply the blood over your body apply the blood over your children apply the blood over your homes apply the blood over your mind I gotta get out of here but I need you on this morning to begin to apply the blood the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus touch your children and say the blood of Jesus plead the blood plead the blood plead the blood the blood over your house the blood over that doctor's report the blood over your children the blood over your marriage plead the blood plead the blood apply the blood apply the blood tell the Lord give me a blood bath tell the Lord send down your blood wash me with your blood for the blood has power the blood has power the blood can still save the blood can still heal the blood can still deliver the blood can still set free the blood can still destroy generational curses look at your neighbor and say neighbor plead the blood neighbor plead the blood for the blood has power the blood can regulate minds the blood can mend broken hearts the blood can restore relationships the blood can cast out demons the blood can make you whole what can wash away all my sins nothing yeah, nothing 
but the blood of Jesus Christ. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me that makes me white as snow nothing 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 but the blood Somebody shout the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood over my children over my grandchildren over my family I plead the blood I know you can't touch nobody but point to three people the blood the blood the blood I plead the blood the blood the blood the blood blood. I'm sorry, y'all, but I get excited thinking about the blood. I get excited thinking about the blood. Because one day the blood reached way down. Pick me up. Turn me around. Place my feet on solid ground. Better save some for Pentecost Sunday. Yeah, the blood. Yeah, the blood. Woo. I feel happy on this morning. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Ooh, the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Mother just had a flashback about the blood. Mother thought about the blood, how it saved her, the blood, how it filled her, the blood, how it healed her, the blood, the blood, the blood, the The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows. To the lowest valley, oh yes, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. Power. 
Then somebody say, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day I was lost. He found me. He died on the cross. I know it was the blood. 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 When I was in my sin, I know it was the blood. When I could have lost my mind, I know it was the blood. When I could have been dead in the grave, I know it was the blood. When I could have been out of house in a home, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. And then they'll pick it up. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Look at somebody say the blood still works. The blood still works. The blood still works. Hallelujah. We gotta get ready to go. Woo. Something about that blood. It's something about the blood, Elder. Go ahead and praise him, Dad. When you think about the blood. Yeah! It was the blood that healed him from that heart attack. Oh, the blood! and praise him, Dad.
something is being released in the atmosphere. Something is being released in the atmosphere. Hey. is none of my doing. This is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. We thank God for the move of God. We thank God for the move of God. I just want to submit to the will of God want to be pleasing in his eyes. True light is going somewhere. True light is going somewhere. We're going higher. And God is going to continue to move throughout our services. We shared a testimony uh, this past week. We had got a testimony uh, we got a praise report that Missionary Barley's mother had came home. And right after that, yeah, go ahead, celebrate. I know Mother Scott is watching, amen. We were praying for Mother Scott. She's home from the hospital, amen. And we thank God for God's healing power, amen. And within minutes of her texting, I screenshot a message to her or I t told her about a post uh, that Sister, uh, uh, Sister Cheyenne had sent me or had tagged us in, I believe it was. She had tagged us in a post. How many remember last Sunday, Mother's Day, we prayed that the baby, Sister Chosen, would no longer need her feeding tube. She had been in the NICU for 70 some odd days, could not hold weight. They had to put a feeding tube in her because she wouldn't receive her bottles and wouldn't hold it down. And we prayed Sunday that she would no longer need her feeding tube. And the mother posted on Facebook that not even four days later, they were able to pull the feeding tube and she was holding her bottles down and she was gaining weight on her own. <laughs> Testimonies that are like this are not coming because of me, but it's coming because of God. And many don't realize all week the battles that my wife and I go through just because of different things that we're doing in the ministry. We've been getting a renovation done, things like that. But one thing about it is we realize in this season of sacrifice, we have to stay in tune with God so he can continue to move throughout our services like this. Amen. Sometimes, you know, as humans, you, you get weary in well-doing. But how many know because we're not fainting, all of us going to reap the harvest. Yeah. Amen. God is doing some true great things through true light. And we want you to keep us in prayer as we stay obedient to God, as we stay focused, as we do the will of God, and as we serve the people of God. I'm going to tell you, I have a heart to serve the people of God. You got to have a heart for the people in ministry. 
and a heart after God. And that's what we're doing. Amen. We're serving God and serving God's people. Amen. Y'all know me. I like to be transparent. Amen. I like to be transparent. We're all human. Amen. Ain't none of us superheroes. But we're running after the perfect man, which is Jesus. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for this service, God. We thank you, those that are watching via Facebook, YouTube, those that are in the sanctuary. God, continue to touch your people, God. Continue to strengthen them. Continue to let them hold fast to your word. God, we ask you to continue to remind us to plead the blood of Jesus over every situation, over every circumstance. We thank you for the blood that was shed. Now that the blood has been shed, it's our duty to apply the blood. And God, we apply the blood and plead the blood over our lives, over our bodies, over our minds, over our emotions, over our children, grandchildren, homes, family. God, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. And we ask you to do all these things. And we'll be careful to give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you, Facebook, YouTube. We love you. Amen. We're getting ready.